black, white, brown, yellow, red. I will never condone the assault of any woman, regardless of race. She should have never been attacked. My premise tonight, my premise tonight is not that she deserved the beating she got because she didn't. No mother deserves that. And her children should not have had to see that replayed on YouTube. My premise is she was a secondary victim. Brendan was the primary victim. And the true criminals in this case are the principal of Mantanzas High School. When I'm done tonight, you're going to agree with me that the school board of Flagler Schools, the superintendent, every school board member and the chair violated this man's educational rights, civil rights and mental health rights. This is attorney E5 Tunde. This video shows a six foot six, 270 pound, 17 year old student push his teacher's aide at Matanzas High School to the ground where she goes unconscious. We stopped the video before it got more violent. Deputies say he was upset. She took his Nintendo Switch in class. Slagler County deputies arrested the student, but it's not the first time he's been in handcuffs. According to court records, the 17 year old was charged with battery in March of 2019. Again, then a month later in April 2019, then in June of that same year, and again this month. Those court records also show he was in the Department of Juvenile Justice's Diversion Alternative Program and completed uh. his program. Fast forward to today, the state attorney's office has since transferred the team to adult court for prosecution on these new charges. A decision Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley is on board with. This individual is six months from being age 18. Uh, it was also a very brutal uh attack on this teacher's aid that fortunately did not result in a fatality andrew spar with the florida education association says this case shows him there needs to be more help for troubled students we need to be having a conversation about what kinds of supports were in place for this particular student uh, or any students who may have shown past histories in which they have um, had altercations uh, with others. This is a civil proceeding, not a criminal proceeding. It is for a uh, does this make you feel a little bit more safer if you will uh, somewhat yes i just want to make sure this just a, doesn't ever happen to anybody else ever again Yes. Can you share with us just a little bit about your recovery, how you're feeling, that kind of thing? It's slow. Every day is just a new day. Being in there, was that, a, was that kind of frightening even just, even though you're surrounded by a lot of police and such, but seeing It'd him? It would be frightening for anybody, yes. Yeah. But thank you for, thank you. Thank you, sweetie. What do you think would be a, an appropriate punishment for him? I can't even, I can't even, yeah. I couldn't even guess on that one. I won't even Safe. speculate. And I know you want to clarify, you did not take his game away. No, no, there was no device taken away. Not at all. It was the teacher that was threatening to not have it being utilized at school. I had nothing to do with it. Brothers and sisters, tonight we got a very heavy an important conversation that I'm going to try to limit to 90 minutes, 90 minutes maximum. I know you got to go to bed, get up for work. The revolution continues. Well, tonight I'm going to be acting as the defense attorney for our young brother, Brendan Depper, 18 years old. This young brother who stands six foot six inches tall, 270 pounds earlier this year, February the 21st of 2023, the day Malcolm X 
was taken from us by the U.S. government and jealous Negroes in the black community. February the 21st, the day Malcolm left us, the day after the Honorable Frederick Douglass left us on February the 20th, Brother Brendan Depper attacked a teacher's aide. I want y'all to remember that aid, not the teacher, but the teacher's aid. There's a reason I'm drawing that distinction. I'm gonna say it again. He didn't attack the classroom teacher. He attacked the classroom teacher's aid. I want y'all to stay with me tonight, brothers and sisters, because we're about to walk through this. I hope y'all ready to walk through this with me. I hope y'all ready to walk through this with me because what we're not going to do, what we're not going to do is let the state of Florida lynch this brother legally. We're not going to let them do that. We're not going to let them do that. This brother can get up to 30 years. This child, this child, this child can get up to 30 years in prison. Do you know what that means, brothers and sisters? That means he will not be getting out of jail until he's almost 50 years old. He will not be getting out of jail until he's almost 50 years old. He will not be getting out of jail until he is almost 50 years old. And I submit to the court of public opinion. I submit to the state of Florida. I submit to the State Department of Education of Florida. I submit to the principal and administration of Matanzas High School of the Flagler School District. I submit to the superintendent of the Flagler School District and I submit to the Board of Education for Flagler Schools that Brendan Deppa was a victim and that he was more of a victim than that woman who unfortunately was attacked. I wanna say that. Damn. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. No solutions, man. Damn, we're short. And this is our most, in this is the highest of our intellect. <laughs> God, <Yeah>. dog. <laughs> Salute to Doug Chucks. He says, well done, Society of Benevolence. I'll see your challenge and raise you a bunch of likes. Come on, peeps, press the like button. Special challenge to the racist Dems that are, are hate watching. Uh, <laughs> the drug chumps, man. Up there, up there in, the, in, in, in Alaska, holding it down for Op Nation in Alaska, man. Salute. Uh, yeah, hit the like button. Let's try to get 200 likes up, 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 in, up in this bitch. Um, yeah, man. Um, yeah, we, all, we we can get 200 likes just like that. Boom. If y'all just, everybody who hasn't hit the like button just hits. Um, yeah, man. Um, <sighs> that again, Brendan Deppa is the biggest victim in this case. And when I'm done breaking this case down, brothers and sisters, when I'm done breaking this case down, brothers and sisters, when I'm done breaking this case down, you're going to agree with me and you're going to agree with me. Heard that, Osa? Um, uh, I mean... I'm I'm pro black as it gets, but I, I'm struggling already, man. <laughs> I, he's already lost me, man. That the state of Florida violated this young man's civil rights, educational rights, and mental health rights. When I'm done tonight, you're going to agree with me that the Flagler School District of Florida violated this young man's civil rights his educational rights and his mental health rights. When I'm done tonight, you're gonna to agree with me that the school board of Flagler Schools, the superintendent, every school board member and the chair violated this man's educational rights, civil rights and mental health rights. This is attorney E5 Tunde. This is attorney E5 Tunde. And I wanna to submit to the court before I present my evidence that this young man needs to go free and that the Flagler School District and the Mantanzas High School and the State Department of Education for Florida owes this man compensatory education. They owe him restitution for exploiting him, abusing him, never properly educating him or providing him with the appropriate mental health care. And I'm also going to say. Wow. So he should go free for 30 years. He need to go free and he need a goddamn severance package, man. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Wow, man. Damn. And and white people gotta deal with this shit, man. Like, yo, if this was the opposite and there was a white and there was a white pundit or a white figure saying this, yo, that would be deplatformed. You would be deplatformed for this. Instantly. You wouldn't even get 90 minutes anywhere to talk about that shit. Yo, he's saying that. I mean, he beat the brakes off that white lady after she was already unconscious. And he's saying that she, not only does he need to go free, but he needs to be given a bunch of free stuff, a Negro care package. <laughs> that his white foster parents, I got to say it. If we're going to be honest, we're going to be honest. Then. And his white fault, now he's about to attack his white foster parents. Oh, right. That's now he's about to attack the white foster parents. God. Duh. He, I, it's not bad enough that he's completely saying that this kid needs to go free for the brutal attack on that white woman. But now he's attacking his white foster parents, the only people who fucking gave this guy a place to stay in the <sighs> foster parents i got to say it if we're going to be honest we're going to be honest tonight i must also say respectfully to his white foster parents respectfully i must say to brother brendan Depper's white foster parents you failed this young black boy you failed him as much as the school failed him. You failed him as much as Flagler School District failed him. You failed him as much as his teacher, his principal. You failed him as much as all of the white racist institutions in the state of Florida failed this young man. I have to say that. No disrespect, because I know y'all are up in age, but I got to call a spade a spade. This young man has been your fault. I said the blast. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Shaq, this shit is like the yep. like a, the blind side meets minister society. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he doesn't. I guess ah, it, it's like he. I guess he. I guess it doesn't. I guess people aren't going to hear it like that. But like when I hear him talking about the parents like that, like, you know, the higher standard for them, because you wouldn't say this about any other son teen who goes out and kills somebody. You would never be like the parents. He would never say the parents failed mm -hmm. them. He would never blame the parents. But like because the parents are white now he can blame the parents and it just he doesn't realize. I guess he doesn't realize he's saying that black parents are so bad that you can't blame them and white people are so good that they have to take the blame. God. I've been telling them that I've been telling y'all that for the longest. We think that white people, we do. Yeah, we this do. is like you said, this is one of our best and brightest. He thinks that too, man. Um <laughs> foster child since he was an infant. This young man has been your foster child since he was an infant. This young man. So they had this boy, they've been dealing with this guy and his behavioral problems since he was an infant. These white people raised this little bastard up from infancy, and they're being blamed for his attack on the teacher's aid. God, who didn't take anything from him. Who didn't take anything from him. And even if she had, like, fuck it. Right? <laughs> but anyway, but yeah. Um, here's my thing, man. White folk, man, when y'all gonna build like a Noah's Ark type ship, like a big ass? Y'all got these um aircraft carriers, right? Why don't y'all repurpose one of them old aircraft carriers and send all these goddamn subwords back to Africa? <laughs> like, come on, man. This shit is ridiculous, man. And has been your foster child since he was an infant, and according to what I've researched. And forgive me for not having all the information, but I believe I have enough information here. Given my experience, expertise, and training in the field of mental health, remember, I am a doctor of clinical psychology. I am trained in the effective diagnosis 
and evaluation and treatment of mental illness. I am a certified school psychologist. I am trained and experienced in the effective evaluation and classification of mental health disabilities in the school system. So you dealing with an expert 25 plus years in the game I've been. And to Brendan's foster parents, you failed this young man. You failed him. I don't even know why y'all bothered to be foster parents that y'all was not going to look out for this black boy. Wow. I hope y'all didn't exploit him for money. I hope y'all didn't exploit him for money. I'm not going to spend too much time on y'all because y'all not the biggest issue here. Y'all not the biggest issue here because even though y'all might have exploited this young black man for money, because we all know in the foster care system, the black children with the most problems get the most money. We all know in the foster care system, black children with the most problems get the most money. We are. Wow. Is that true? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, but can they tell from infancy that they have the most problems or like, how does that work? That's kind of strange. I can see if they got him when he was like eight, nine, ten, or something like that. And then you could say he had a lot of problems. But I mean, if he's an infant, how do you? Um, well, he's saying they should have just sent him back, man. They should have returned the sender's ass once they started seeing the problems, man. But the, the white folk hung in there with him for 18 years, man, through all the assaults that he committed um, and all the violence he perpetuated. And they hung in there for 18 years, and this is their thanks. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, you know, in the foster care system, black children with the most problems get the most money. And so based on what I see, respectfully, to Brendan's white foster parents, y'all used them, got paid off of this young black boy, and you didn't do a damn thing to protect him from that racist mental health and educational system down there in the state of Florida. Now with that, we are gonna get started. But I first wanna let everybody know you need to hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school, we got a school to build. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app. We're about to get into the court case. This is attorney E. Fatunde defending my client, Brendan Deppa, against the school district of Flagler, the Mantazas High School, the State Department of Education for Florida, and the mental health system for the state of Florida and Palm Coast, Florida. I'm the attorney tonight. I'm the attorney tonight. I'm the attorney tonight. Hit your PayPal for my international Africans, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit the PayPal for the international Africans, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy, brothers and sisters. Now let's get to business. Let's get to business. We're talking Brenda Deppa. Brendan Deppa, six foot six, 270 pound boy. Six foot six, giant. 270 pound boy. That's six a foot giant. six. 270 yeah. pound Big boy. Guy. Let me give you the statistics. Brendan Deppa, 17 years old, February the 21st, 2022, attacked the teacher's aide in the classroom at Montanza's High School, Palm Coast, Florida. He attacked his teacher's aide for taking his Nintendo Switch. He attacked the teacher's aide. She clearly said he, she, she, did, she didn't take it from him. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that because that's when I tell you, Gladys, when I see, because you got to, Gladys got to understand, I'm all over YouTube and Osa is too, man. Osa is uh, all over YouTube. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't understand how deep this shit is. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gliders don't understand. Like, you think I'm just blowing smoke up your ass. <laughs> You're fucked. <laughs> it's bad. It's so bad. Oh, man. And this is as good as it gets. This is as good as it gets. Dr. Umar Johnson, this is, I mean, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 it's just, I grew up like around woke people before it was even fashionable. I grew up when woke people were like, not like mainstream. Like yeah. now you got like cool people that are woke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Those that are woke. Ever yeah. since, uh, you know who fucked it up was uh, Erica Badu. 
when she yeah. made that song, I Stay Woke, that's when it started to go downhill. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it used to only be like Afrocentric people and shit yeah. like that. Small segment. Yeah, it was a small segment of woke people. It wasn't all like it is now. So I've seen the change. And um, so I, I, I've, I've, I know how these people are. I know these people intimately. I know the old version of them. I know the new version of them. You gliders are fucked, man. Um, Bruh, y'all were asking for my white people insert collection. I got y'all. We don't gatekeep around here. Y'all can save this video if you like want to, or you can like pause it just to see. This is A through like a little bit of C. What? So you can save this video or whatever and look at what you need to look at. And then this is C. And I don't know. I don't remember if this is all the way through C or not. But there's a lot of. Let me see. Let's see the the white people insults. Ash A. <laughs> Arctic menace. Bacon soda slugs. Hey, yeah. Beach flamingos. Birch trees. Bird caca. Blanco bullies. Blanket banshees. Bleached balloons. Bleach demons. Blizzard bliss. Borax bats, bleached snow monkeys, capital climbers, cauliflower conquerors, <laughs> cauliflower conquerors. That's hysterical. Man. Um, oh man, Casper crickets, <laughs> cave dwellers, <laughs> chalk children, <laughs> chalk children. <sighs> Chalk chimps, cheddar cheese chimps, children of the chalk, clear people, cloudy with the chance of colonization. <laughs> wow, the alliteration. Wow. <laughs> Cocaine monkey, coconut cocoons. Oh shit, cotton ball flies, cornstarch colonists. <laughs> C, and I don't know, I don't remember if this is all the way through C or not, but there's a lot of C stuff. And somebody had said in the other video that already had um, corn, what is it, cornstarch colonizer. So yeah. what I did, not cornstarch colonizer, somebody already said that I had, you know, the one that I replied to. So I just changed it from whatever it was before to Karn Starch Colonizer. And then I kept the one that I already put in there. I just left it there. Oh, yeah. There's the rest of C. And then... Cousin Lovin', Cream Cheese, Cream Confederate. <laughs> Crest Extreme Whitening Toothpaste. What? Uh, dandruff clumps, discharge snowdrops, <laughs> discharge donkeys, dry chicken munchers. That's a little bit of D. Well, no, that's all a D. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was corn starch, Chris. <laughs> There's D, E, and then I don't know if that's the end of F or not. I don't. Enemy of the sun. Elbow ash, Elmer's glue, expired milk. Expired milk. Remember. Feta cheese, folks. Damn. Flower power. Flower freaks. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that was the end of F. There's G and... Again, I don't know if that's all of K or not. Q Klux Kleenex. Hey, yo, this is like a list that like an eight-year-old would come up with. Like, this is not even, there's very little intellect behind these. Jesus. Just naming white things that are white. <laughs> right. It was all of K. And then there's L through... Not all of lice, lizards, 
M, I'm gonna say. I was right this time, it's not all of M. And then there's the rest of M. Oh, Mayo Monkeys is on there. Mayo Monkeys. You made the list, man. Shout out to Mayo Monkeys. Shout out to Mayo. Pillsbury Doughboys. I think all of P, I'm pretty sure. I was right again. Oh, wait, let me move. Okay. Then there's uh, the rest of P down to S. Not all of S, I don't think. Ranch rats. <laughs> oh, God. I was right again. There's the rest of F's down to, I think, all of you. It wasn't all of you. Um... There's the rest of you all the way down to Y and like Z is coming. Yogurt yodelers. Up in a little bit. <laughs> and there's the rest of W down to Z. I don't have a lot for Z and I need some more stuff for Z. And like the stuff with stars beside them, that's my favorite ones. Like, this is what she's doing. And she put this online. No one like stole her laptop. She put this online herself, and she's so happy with herself. This is what I tell them, your Osa sisters hate them with the intensity of a thousand suns. <laughs> and and I'm not talking about sun, I'm talking about the actual, the actual sun that's up burning the, sky. <laughs> the burning sun that powers the whole solar yeah. system. They would never, in most gliders, they they walk around life like not knowing that. And it's crazy because that's like, it's amazing that you could walk around not knowing that some a group hates you that much. And even worse, thinking that you're allies. <laughs> right. Right. It it's one thing that it's one thing to not know the hatred, and but then on top of that, to think that like you're you're an ally shit with them. sisters are awesome. Black women are back on the community. Rock over. We need a Goldman Sachs. We need to give black women eight gazillion dollars. And mind you, this this one right here, she's at least thirty percent glider. At least, yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe so. And, and 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 here's the thing though, this this chick right here, she is not like being outed. White person, like they would out you, like you would they would find that you said the N-word like back in high school, or you said you made some problematic statements were recorded, somebody recorded a phone call where you were making not not even racist things just said you know you just said you know what sick of all the crime in, in the country you know <laughs> this right here there will be no consequences for this like there's nowhere she can't go tomorrow and and, and, and work and, and find and, and find employment there's right. no school she can't go to there's nothing that will be taken there's no penalty for this socially right She could go to any PWIs they call them. She could work in any business. She could do anything. There's nothing. Her her options have literally this. Her life hasn't changed one bit because of this. That is so crazy. Glad as you suck at racism because if this was a Arab country. And she did this. She just did a. If she fucking, if she just did. If she in an Arab country, she just did the letter a. Arab. About Arabs. She would forfeit every. She would forfeit everything. She would have to leave the country. Yeah, she'd get stoned to death. Yeah. Man. Shout out to you gliders, man. Y'all some really, really nice people, man. And I want you gliders to know that I appreciate you. <laughs> double. Seriously, double. though. No, I'm not even, I'm not even trying to be funny, man. Like, 
I am on behalf of sons. They know not what they do, man. <laughs> <laughs> on behalf of all sons, I'm letting you know, Gladys, man. I appreciate you. I think you guys are awesome, man. Um, True shit. Yeah, man, and 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 it's it's not right what they're doing, but man, you guys are fucking awesome, man. Um, thank you for letting us live in your country, man, and enjoy the fruits of your mind and your civilization, man. Um, we, I appreciate it, man. Um, on behalf of of the other sons, man, and everything they do, man, I want y'all to know I appreciate you, man. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't, and I don't feel like I'm cooning either. Like I don't give a fuck. Like I don't give a fuck. Somebody say, "Man, you cooning, man." Fine, man. I appreciate this shit, man. These people could kick us out at any time, man. Real shit. Niggas wouldn't be able to do nothing if, 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 if the glider civilization. Like I showed you the other day, they, they're refueling fighter jets at 40,000 feet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got submarines all over the fucking world. If they wanted to, they could just get rid of us. Like that. Or force us to live on a strip of land. <laughs> yeah. 